Hi, in this particular playlist we're going to be looking at rearranging formulae or basically we're going to change the subject of the formula. Now in this particular case we've got three questions. I'm just going to have three videos, fairly short videos, just to give you some idea of how to tackle these sorts of questions. The main issue really is this bit here which is the equal sign. So whatever we do we've got to balance everything around the equal sign. Now in this particular case we want want t to be the subject of the formula. Unfortunately we've got this u here that we've got to get rid of. So in order to get rid of it what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it away. Now if I take it away from the right hand side of the equals sign I've also got to take it off from the left hand side of the equals sign. So what happens on the right I lose that and I just get left with 5t and on the left hand side I've got v minus u. So there's my v, which is this one, and there's my minus u, which is this one. Okay, so v minus u equals five lots of t. If I want to get one lot of t, I just divide through by five, because five divided by five is one, which is t, one t, which is what we're looking for. And on the left-hand side, I'm going to get v minus u also divided by 5 because I'm going to divide that side by 5 as well. Now just be very very careful with this. The answer to this question is that one. It's not v minus u divided by 5. Okay that would be incorrect. Okay sorry about that. Now the reason that would be incorrect is because when we use bid mass the division which would be u divided by 5, comes before the subtraction. So what's happened with that is basically that would look like that with brackets around it. Okay, You could, if you wanted to, write v minus u all in brackets and then divided by 5. And that would be okay because that's exactly the same as this where we do v minus u and then we divide the whole lot by 5. v minus u divide the whole lot by five. Okay, so uh, the preference for, uh, certainly for GCSE level, will be for you to use uh, a fraction. However, I do know some students will use the division sign. That's perfectly fine, but it is better to use the fraction if you can. Okay, hope you found that useful. Let's move on to question two in the next video.